Today, I want to discuss a quick concept with you called the hidden hypotenuse. Now, generally, in the SAT math section, if you're asked how long something is, it's the hypotenuse of a right triangle. And I'm not kidding when I say that this is about 90% of the time. So generally, the idea is that if you see you know, two coordinates on a plane, you can either use the distance formula, which is certainly one way of doing it. You know, you have a point here, a point here, you know, they're on the xy coordinate, and they ask, how long is this? Now, you could always just use the distance formula, but I hate the distance formula. It's annoying. Instead, just remember that the distance between them by x is side A of the right triangle. The distance between y is the side B of the triangle. And together, this is the hypotenuse, or side C. So just use Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and you'll end up figuring out how long it is in a straight line distance between this point and this point every single time. That's one way to do it. Another really common hidden hypotenuse problem is when they say, you know, Sally uh, lives five miles north of here, and then she lives six miles east of here, right? So you do something like that, and it asks, how long is it from Sally's house to Jenny's house? Well, the best way to do this is to once again realize it's a hidden hypotenuse. This is what you need to find, which is just the hypotenuse of this right triangle that you're looking at. So, put in this guy here, here's A, here's B, here's C, and you're good to go. This is all you ever need to do to find these lengths. So whenever you're looking at how to find the distance of something, see if there's just a horizontal and a vertical line that you can use to figure out whether there's a hidden hypotenuse, and then use that hidden hypotenuse to find the distance using Pythag theorem. Every single time this will work, and always check it out if you're stuck in these sorts of problems. Cheers.